In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can infuse ChatGPT AI with Excel and Google Sheets. Using these tools will instantly 10X your productivity, almost instantly. In this video, I'll show you how to install it for Google Sheets and Excel, and I'm gonna give you just some fun use cases of how you can take advantage of this new and cool technology. So let's get into it. So for Excel, you're gonna to wanna to come over to the Microsoft App Store and in the search box, put GPT. And then you're gonna to wanna to come over here and I've been using the GPT in Excel plugin. So you click on get it now right here. So then after you're signed in, click get it now. And then it'll bring you to this page and you'll just click on open in Excel. And then it'll boot up Excel for you. So when you load into Excel for the first time with this plugin, you're just going to want to go on the side here and click on accept and continue and then sign in one more time. And once you're all signed in, you'll finally have this screen on the side here and you're ready to start using GPT inside of Excel. But before I show you how to use it inside of Excel, let me show you how to install the same thing thing for Google Sheets if you prefer using Google Sheets instead. So what you're going to want to do is come over to Sheets and go to your Sheets, open up any sheet you want, and then go over to the Extensions tab and then click on Add-ons. Then go to Get Add-ons. Then at the top here, go to Search Apps and type in GPT. And the one that I've been using is called GPT for Sheets and Docs. It should be the first one here. And I already have it installed, but you would just go and click on this and then click on install at the top. Then once you have this installed, you're gonna to wanna to exit out, go to extensions and then go to GPT for sheets and docs and then go to set API key. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get your open API key. So I'll show you how to do that. Go on the first link to open AI's website, log in or sign up. Then once you get to this window here, you're gonna to wanna to head over to API. Then from API, you're gonna to wanna to come up to the top here and click on personal and then click on view API keys. Now here's where you can see all of your different API keys that you've created. If you created any at all, but you're going to want to create a new secret key and you're going to want to name it. I'll name this one GPT for sheets and we'll create secret key. Do not give the secret key away to anyone. If someone has access to this key, they could potentially use your AI models all without you knowing and you will get billed for them using your AI. But you just want to copy it here and click on done. Then you want to go back into sheets and then where it says open API key, just paste in that key right there and then click on save API key. And there you have it. You have GPT successfully installed inside of your Google Sheets. So now let's have some fun with it. A quick mention though, before we go on, make sure you're careful about what you put inside of these plugins. These are not official plugins by Microsoft and Google. So just be careful of what you're putting inside of them. So now moving on to our example, I'm gonna be using Google Sheets for my example. But the same thing will work in Excel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have GPT automatically make custom messages for all my clients here. We're gonna to wanna to make a custom prompt to feed into GPT so it can give us a different result every time for the information that we have in our rows. And I'll show you right here. We're gonna to wanna to make this E column our prompt. We'll type in equals. We'll do concatenate to concatenate different strings and values to make our prompt. Write a cold email. Write a cold email to B1, which is our company name. They are in the C1, which would be the industry. Write one sentence talking about their company and commending them for their work. And then write a body email telling them about my new marketing services and how it can help them give a reason as to how it might help their industry. So we have that. And then what we're going to do here is because sometimes when I make these prompts, they, you know, run off the side of the screen, as you can see here, you're going to want to go up to this button right here and click on this one right here, clip. And what that will do is that'll cut off everything past the far line here on E, as you can see. And because these variables here are not locked in, what we can do is we can just drag this down and there we go. So now we have prompts for each of our different contacts. So now what we can go ahead and do is we can go into here and we can hit equals GPT. So this is how you can use GPT inside of Excel and Google Sheets. So you wanna type in equals GPT parenthesis and then click on your prompt. And now I like to keep it this way because it makes the prompts super simple to play around with and I'm not tweaking them inside of the GPT function and just an enter. Wait like a second or two and there we have it. Introducing innovative market solutions for Smith Solutions. I hope this email finds you well. In today's rapidly or comprehensive yada yada yada, you get the idea, but it writes a custom email based on the prompt that you give it. Let's do this for the rest of them. So we'll take that GPT command and we'll drag it down for all of our 10 different clients. You'll see that we get a bunch of personalized custom emails perfect to send our clients. This makes sending warm emails so much faster because you don't have to manually go in and type everything out to send a personalized email. As you can see, the subject in them all are the different company names. You can just have a general structure lined up and then copy and paste the formulas in and then you have great 
warm targeted emails to go to each of your clients. So this will save you a ton of time when you're trying to come up with emails. Let's try another example. So for our next example, I have just some products here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it super easy to come up with product descriptions and a little bit of marketing copy automatically for all these products. So we're gonna make a prompt template just so you can see how you're crafting the prompts and then how they translate to the next cells, which are the GPT cells. So for this, we'll do concatenate, write me a product description in one sentence for this and then we'll put in our treadmill and then we copy this all the way down so now we have our prompt for each of these different products here and now we can use our gpt function here to put in the prompt and click enter and we'll drag this down for all of them. So then you can see here after it's done, you have all the different descriptions for our different products here. You can see they're all personalized individually for the items here and we didn't have to do any work. All we did was have a list of products and now we have all kinds of descriptions for all of them automatically. And now that we have these product descriptions for our products, we wanna make them a little bit more tailored to appeal to different audiences. So what we'll do is we'll create a new prompt equals concatenate, rewrite a SEO tailored eye-catching clickable description from this description C1, which is the old description that we had for this product, which is the same product in A1. Click on enter. And now we have our new prompt to put in the GPT function. So we'll copy this all the way down. And then like I mentioned before, what we can do is we can click on this button here and click and we can do that for all of them. And then we go GPT and click on this box here and click enter. And we'll copy that down for all of them. And here we have it. Get ready to elevate your fitness game with our top of the line treadmill. Discover the ultimate fitness companion on our game changing dumbbells. Get ready to elevate your fitness with our cutting edge exercise bike. See, these are all great SEO tailored descriptions that you can use for all of your products. And they were made pretty much instantly with GPT. And you can get really creative to come up with some great automations for your business to make making copy just infinitely easier. So that is how you can use AI and ChatGPT inside of Excel and Google Sheets. If you learned something from this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But that's all for me for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.